In this lesson, we will learn how to create a form in Design View. In my database, I have a table called Employees, and when I open it, you can see the list of employees that are in the database. I would like to create a graphical user interface by creating a form, and we're going to do this all in Design View. I only have six records here, so if you want to take a quick look at what I have. Next, I'm going to close the table. And to create any of the objects in Access, we start with the Create ribbon. And in the Forms group are the different ways of creating a form. We discovered some of the other ways in our introduction course. And today, we're going to look at the Form Design. When you click on Form Design, Access will automatically take you to the design view of a form. I'm going to go ahead and save this form to get us started. And to do that, I'm going to right click the Form tab. Then I'll choose Save. I'm going to use the same naming conventions that I've been using in the previous course, where I name forms with the prefix of FRM. I also use camel case, so I squish all the words together. So my form is going to be called Employees. So FRM Employees, and when I click OK, here is the form. We are in Design View with no data actually in the form. If I right-click the tab and return to the Form View, you will see I'm left in a blank environment. It says one of one, but you cannot even navigate the records. Let's go back to the Design View. You can right-click and choose Design View, or if you prefer, go to the lower right corner of the status bar and click Design View from here. We will be building on this knowledge throughout the course, but I want to introduce you now to the property sheet. There is in Design View a Design Ribbon, an Arrange Ribbon, and a Format Ribbon. In the Design Ribbon, in the Tools group, is where you can find the property sheet. You can also right-click outside of the grid area in Design View, and you will see Form Properties. Both options will bring up the task pane on the right named Property Sheet. Now our form has no record source associated with it. It doesn't know what to display in terms of the employee information. So what you can do with the Property Sheet is control all of the elements on a form. There is a lot to look at here. First notice that there's multiple tabs of different category of items that you can navigate for the Property Sheet. I'm going to meet you on the All tab. Right above the All tab, if your screen looks different than mine, you might be selected on the Detail section of the form, which means a specific area on the form. I want to change how the form is obtaining its data. So I want to make sure I'm looking at the Form Properties. And if I go to All, there's a lot of information here, but Record Source is usually right at the top. If you go to Data, you'll also see it here. Now when I go to All, there is a drop-down. There's also a Build button, which we'll look at later on in the course. Anytime you see a little square button with three ellipse dots, that's called a Build button. When you click on the drop-down list for Record Source, it will display the different table objects. If you have queries built into the database, you will see those objects as well. I want to see employee information in my form, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Table Employees. The next thing I'm going to do is look for the fields that I want to add to the form. So I can go back to the Design ribbon, and then in the Tools group, look at Add Existing Fields. When I click on Add Existing Fields, I'm familiar with my table, and I can see that all the fields in that table are displayed. To create this form, I'm going to start dragging the fields that I want to see onto the form. If I want to see employee ID and I drag it in, it gives me a label and a field. If I hover my mouse over the field area, I'll get four directional arrows to move it, and it's going to move it simultaneously. If I want to add multiple fields, I can select multiple from the field list pane by using Shift. If they're not continuous items, you can use Control to select the non-continuous items. I'm going to go ahead and select 
all the way from last name to business phone by holding shift. I'm going to hold down control, then click on job title. Then I'll click and drag all of those onto the design grid. I haven't worked on the layout of my form yet, but if I right click the tab and go to form view, I can start seeing what the form looks like. And here are my six records that I can navigate through. In our next lesson, we will modify the form layout further. And this completes our lesson on creating a form in design view.